What is up guys, it is your boy Blair Dave, back with another video, and um, I don't even know how to start this video, but you guys can tell why I'm making this uh, later, I guess. <laughs> um, I've been meaning to talk about this, I, I, I want to talk about the night that happened, I couldn't, and yesterday I was so busy with work, and all that, but tonight I'm finally here to talk to you about it, and uh, let's, see, let's push the camera a little bit like this. Okay, so you guys already read the title. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be talking about this guy, Chadwick Boseman. Forty-three guys. Wow, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Ugh. He's been dealing with this freaking cancer since 2016 <sighs> and uh yeah I was wearing this for the last two to three days now this shirt just to think about him gosh he was only in the Marvel Cinematic Universe yeah four years now in four movies how is this going to affect the MCU I'm not sure I'm not really sure, guys. I don't know what Disney's plans are. Because Black Panther 2, I don't know if it's still going to happen. They might have to push push it back, which I can wait for. Either that or they're going to cancel it. Because who knows? I, I don't know if that's going to start Phase 5. I don't know. Chadwick brought... So much, so much goodness to Black Panther. What a great way to introduce him to Captain America: Civil War and have him get his own solo movie. I liked how in in his solo movie we pick up immediately right after. Like we, sure we learn a little bit more about the origins of the Black Panther, but uh, I I think I don't know. May I guess. I guess fans, I mean, you, you can tell me I'm wrong about this in the comments, but I'm sure you saw this one comment, but I'm pretty sure there's some fans out there who are sick and tired of origin stories. Like, I know they've overdone origin stories, um, but I, th I still, I think it's a great way to introduce a character. Like, I'm pretty sure you know their backgrounds. Like, you've read the comics or you've seen cartoons or whatever, but, uh, yeah, it was just simple. Bring Black Panther in, you know? Um, I almost cried the night that, uh, <laughs> that he passed. Um, yeah, that got me pretty hard, guys. Like, <laughs> if Stan Lee's death wasn't enough, guys, then, uh, Chowick was. I didn't think it would hit me that hard, but it, it did, it did, alright, to be honest, alright? Wakanda forever, <laughs> Mr. Bozeman. Man, I, I, I saw the reactions on YouTube, and uh, I wasn't even sure. Because, guys, today on ABC, like, today was the first time in two years since I've seen the movie. And uh, usually I'm watching Marvel movies a lot, over and over again. But I haven't seen this one in two years, so it was pretty great to watch it again. Um, thank you, ABC. And the, the documentary, gosh... I didn't. I wasn't sure if the documentary was gonna show any YouTubers' reactions and like talking about Chadwick. But I do agree, though. He he is irreplaceable, and he was gonna be one of the new trinities of the MCU. Because if you little ones don't know, a trinity is basically three. So like the real OGs of the trin trinity of the MCU were Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor. And I believe it was going to be Spider-Man, Black Panther, and Captain Marvel. Um, gosh, Chadwick has worked so hard for this. And and I, I did like the, uh, the 2020 special tonight, but the only problem is, is that, guys, these SJW political crap, like, they need to have an agenda. They need, they need to shove it down our throats. Guys, you... You, you gotta know this about me, alright? I do not support any SJW p 
political liberal bullcrap, right? I am against that, right? And no, I don't. I don't think the film is SJW. I think it's really nice to give back to the black community, though. But still, it's just. I don't support any SJW stuff, guys. I really, really don't. Alright, that's pretty much what I have to talk about here in this video. What what are my thoughts and opinions about Chadwick Boseman? Um, yeah, he like I said, he brought it to the table like like he knew what he was doing. Disney and Marvel knew what they were doing picking the right actor for him. Again, I don't know how this is going to affect Black Panther 2. Um, still, he was a good man. I, I wish I could have met him. Alright, again, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, tell me, what, what do you think of the Black Panther movie? And what... What do you think of the rest of his performances in the Marvel movies and, and past films? Because I want to see 42 now. I want to see it. Um, and tell me, what do you think of Chadwick Boseman as a person, you know? Alright, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for playing. May the Lord be with you guys. I always love you guys. Peace out, guys. And I'll do this one more time. Wakanda forever. Alright, good night, guys.